Hey guys, it's me Toys and More here. Today we are going to be reviewing these really cool Coco Melon Singing Plus toys. I think they're cool because they're like the other Plus set that I own. And even though JJ's not my favorite character in Coco Melon, he's my least favorite of these three because he's a baby and I usually like kids more than babies because they're more cool to me. But I do like this one in the set the most only because they made him the most accurate to the character while the other two are like more bootleg-ish looking than you might think. But this is the voice box that JJ has right here. This one is the most unique one compared to the other two because this one takes three LR44 batteries while the other two take three AAA batteries. And at the end of the video I will show you what the voice boxes look like. But yeah, um, we're going to look at JJ first, because he's the main character and most popular one. So, this is the front angle of baby JJ right here. He's got a red teddy bear in his hand. There was actually a character created after his teddy bear, which is kind of silly though, because usually um, there's only one of a kind character in a show. Sometimes there's clones and other versions out there. He's um, only got one thing, like only this on one side of the tag, while well, most things don't have other angles. Yeah. Then we got Tom Tom. Tom Tom's my favorite character in the show because he's a cool boy. He's like Bob the Builder, as I said in the other review showing the non-talking toys where they include the parents. And the watermelon I did not have yet, so I reviewed the watermelon after with two other toys that were similar to that in one video. And I actually do have a complaint about this Tom Tom plush, besides the fact that it looks not the greatest. But look at the pants are a problem, because they're longer on one side, while they're shorter on this side, like when they just made it this way. Forgot to show the top angle and the bottom for this. Then this is Yo-Yo, um, this is the sister of Tom Tom, who I learned is five minutes younger. And I heard that um, Yo-Yo had a real name. I think her name was Stephanie, but I can't remember exactly because I didn't look too closely at Coco Melon and I didn't care enough about it. So that's why I looked at only a little bit of it. And that's why I only have a small collection of Coco Melon out of everything that they've made. I forgot to show you the tags for Tom Tom and Yo-Yo, so let me show you those real quick. I know there's a shadow, but you still know what it looks like because I show it to you. This one's different because it doesn't have a symbol or a line at the end. The tag was probably on the shorter, the way it was attached. But you know, not everything will be exactly the same. They always vary. It's not like they want to be shorter, but it just ended up, up that way. And now, I'm going to play a little bit of the songs, but since I'm annoyed by nursery rhymes, I'm only going to play a few seconds, just so you know. And so maybe I avoid copyright stuff by not playing the whole songs. You know, I'm actually going to say one thing, even though I'm not going to play them because I already took their batteries out, but but what I will say is this one's also different from the other two because this one plays the, the Coco Melon bumper sound, like, you know, the beginning thing, but the other two don't play that sound because apparently JJ's more important to most people 
So they wanted to give him a little bit more of a feature, and they wanted him to be different from the other two. So maybe people would like him more. And you know what? The regular JJ plush from the other set is not even as chubby as this one. That's why I like this one more, because babies are chubby sometimes. That's all I'm going to say, so please subscribe for more content, and I'm going to show the voice boxes for TomTom Tom and YoYo -Yo each.